Hey y'all, Mike here from allamerican.org and today we're talking about bike gear made in the USA. So I have a previous video that I filmed a couple of years ago on bikes made in the USA, so I thought it's only fitting to have a video to go with that that talks about all of the gear and components that you need for your bike. So that's what we're covering in today's video. I have four different product sections that I'm going to go through. Things like bike bags, going to start off with those and then head into bike racks, different bike components, and then finish up with some bike and cycling apparel companies. Of course, we have a ton of written research on these topics as well. So I'm throwing links to those on allamerican.org in the description below, as well as the cards at the top of the video. Now, I don't have time to cover every single American-made brand in all of these categories in today's video, so if there's a brand that I missed that you really like that's American-made, or if you have questions about a specific brand, make sure to leave a comment below. All right, let's get started with bike bags and gear, starting off with a company called Suga in Boone, North Carolina. Suga was started in 2008 by a guy named Jimmy Combs, who I've met in person at some North Carolina meetups, and they are a really great company. They make a ton of really awesome bike bags that you can attach to your frame or your bike rack, a lot of stuff for traveling with your bike and a lot more. So I encourage you all to check out their inventory in their online store and they also make a lot of other gear for just general outdoor enthusiasts. So things like backpack gear and other items that are really great for just any kind of outdoor activities. Sticking with bike bags, another company that I really like is Bushwhacker USA. These guys are based out of Ogden, Utah, and are actually the bike bag that I have on the bike that I own. I would show it off to you all right now, but it's actually in storage, so just trust me when I say I really love the Bushwhacker bike bags. They have a ton of room, are really sturdy when you attach them to your bike rack, and they have a few different styles of bags, no matter if you want something for kind of emergency repair kit that you want to attach to your frame, or something bigger to attach to your bike rack like I have. All right, let's move on to vehicle bike racks, starting with Saurus. These guys are based in Madison, Wisconsin and make bike racks by cyclists for cyclists. They own the entire manufacturing process for everything from design to manufacturing and assembly to shipping. They also source a lot of materials locally, which is great to see. One note on these guys, they were bought by a company called CNA Global in 2022. No changes in their manufacturing footprint so far, but definitely worth keeping an eye on. Next up is Alta Racks. These guys are based in Murray, Utah and make bike racks for the back of your vehicle and are probably best known for their Alta 6 general purpose rack, which can fit six bikes on the back of your car. These guys are really lightweight and durable and they're actually pretty affordable for the quality of bike rack that you're getting. Everything's hand built in Utah and they're really good for both families as well as kind of hardcore outdoor enthusiasts. Next up is Quicker Stuff. These folks are based in Grand Junction, Colorado, and are probably best known for their modular, no tool bike rack called the Mac 2. So if you're looking for something without a ton of assembly, these guys are it. They're incredibly passionate about being made in the USA. Everything from design to manufacturing all takes place right here. Last one I'll mention for bike racks is One Up USA. These guys are based in Dickeyville, Wisconsin, and just make some really simple, no-hassle bike racks that are really good for everybody from families to cyclists and outdoor enthusiasts alike. They have a few styles to choose from, so check out their online inventory to see which one fits you best, and all of their stuff is, of course, made in the US and also comes with a lifetime warranty. All right, let's move on to some bike components, starting off with Chris King. Chris King's based in Portland, Oregon and got started in 1976 making bicycle components. They're incredibly passionate about being made in the USA for a lot of reasons, but one of the biggest is quality control. They can really focus on every single part of the process for each component from start to finish and make sure that everything works well. They also source a lot of their raw materials from domestic mills, which is great to see because it's both environmentally friendly and helps with that quality control component. Next up is Wolf Tooth Components. Wolf Tooth Components is based in Minneapolis, Minnesota and is made up of a team of cyclists that are just really focused on performance, function, and reliability of every single component that they produce. They manufacture a ton of different components, so check out their online store for everything that they offer if you're looking to customize your road bike, mountain bike, or whatever you're working with. 
Next up is Industry 9. Industry 9 is also called i9. They're based in Asheville, North Carolina and make a lot of really high quality bike components. They manufacture hubs, wheel systems, and a ton of other stuff and test all of their products in the nearby Pisgah National Forest and the Blue Ridge Mountains. They're super committed to being made in the USA and everything is hand built at their factory in Asheville. All right, let's move on to some cycling apparel, starting with Voler. Voler's based in Grover Beach, California, and has been making cycling apparel for over three decades. They do everything from bottoms to jerseys to t-shirts, skin suits, and a ton of other cycling apparel for both men and women. According to them, they are American made for good, which is great to see. Super strong commitment to American manufacturing and everything's made in California. Next up is Ornot. Ornot's based in San Francisco, California and got started in 2013 with a mission of making really minimally branded cycling apparel. Oftentimes, a lot of cycling apparel can be super flashy with a lot of bright colors, patterns, and logos, and theirs are just really simple. All of their cycling apparel is also super breathable, wicks moisture well, and is extremely packable. And the last brand I'll mention is Pineberry. Pineberry is based in Portland, Maine, and manufactures merino wool cycling apparel that's also good for a lot of other outdoor activities. Now, some of y'all may be confused about the concept of wool and cycling activewear, but merino wool is actually a really great material for this because it adapts to temperature and moisture, so it's really good for a lot of different climates. So if you're looking for a really natural material when it comes to cycling apparel, Pineberry is a great choice. All right, y'all, that's it for this one on bike gear made in the USA. Did I miss any of your favorites? Leave a comment below, or if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.